Hi there, this is Chris. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed that, give me a thumbs up, and if you're so inclined, leave me a comment or even share this video. So, the song that you just heard is called Primordial, and I actually just wrote this song about a week ago. Now, what's special about this song is that I used this guitar here and this amp. And this is a Tiger Love Trident 7 string. And this is a Varellen Custom Augustine Amplifier. My good friend, Jeremiah Augustine, who's also the founder and luthier of Tiger Love Guitars, and also a very, very good metal guitar player and singer, he lent me this guitar and amp and said, hey, see what you can do with it and put it through its paces. So let's talk a little about this guitar. Of course, the first thing you're going to notice is just the absolutely stunning book-matched flame koa top. Just catches the light. Then that's on top of a solid single-piece mahogany body. Check out that control cavity cover. Very cool. So the neck is a bolt-on koa neck, and if I move it around in the light, you can really see how three-dimensional that, that grain is. It's just stunning to see. And then the fingerboard is a native Hawaiian wood called ohia. Now, one thing that you're not going to see in the camera as well is the profile of the neck. Towards the bass strings on top, the neck is just a little bit thicker, and towards the treble strings, it's a little bit thinner, so it kind of tapers, and it's so incredibly comfortable, um, so easy to play. So let's talk a little about the hardware. So this is a seven-string Evertune bridge, and these are warp core Boogeyman pickups. These are Jeremiah's signature pickups. You heard them. They sound great. Now we've got a tone and volume knob, of course, and a five-way selector switch. And then up here on the reverse headstock, we've got the Graftech locking tuners. If you've never played a guitar that has an Evertune bridge and locking tuners, you're really missing out because it's a breeze to change the strings on this guitar. But even more so than that, once you've set up the tuning that you want, it just stays in tune. I mean, that's, that's the Evertune system. I tuned this guitar zero times during the recording of this song. And you heard, there's a lot of different guitar parts on this. Never tuned it once. Awesome. So let's talk a little about the amp now. This amp was custom built for my friend Jeremiah Augustine by Varellen Amplifiers based out of Washington. Now the amp is selectable between 50 and 100 watts. It's 100% tube based. It's got an effects loop and a selectable speaker load. So let's talk about the front panel controls because that, of course, is where all the magic happens. Now, unlike any other guitar amp that I've ever used, this amp actually has an input gain control. And where that would be useful is if you've got a guitar, for example, that has a really hot output and you're trying to get a real sparkly clean tone. Well, just dial back the input gain a little bit and your guitar will be nice and sparkly clean without any overdrive. So the first channel here is the clean channel, and it's got your standard gain, bass, middle, and treble. And then moving on to the crunch channel, we've got actually kind of a cool feature here. We've got a pre-EQ gain, then your standard bass, middle, and treble, and you've got a post EQ gain. So you can really tailor that, that crunch sound to exactly the way you want it voiced. And then of course, it's got a presence control and your master volume. So just a little bit of background on me as a guitar player. At the core of my playing, there are four foundational tones that I look for when playing guitar and using any given amp. And that is a clean tone, kind of a pushed, bluesy tone, a crunch tone, and a lead tone. Everything else I do is some sort of variation on those four tones. And so I set out to write a song that used those four tones and this amp right here delivered. So let's go through the song. I'm going to isolate a couple of parts and show you how I got those you know, four foundational tones using this guitar and the Varellen Augustine amp. 
So let's start at the beginning. When the song opens up, it's a clean tone, and I achieved that on the guitar with the full neck position, so it's the full humbucker mode, so it's the nice full-bodied tone, and on the amp it's channel one, and the settings are below. Let's give this a listen. Now, for the part that comes in after a few measures, I actually took the position back one notch, and that gives it kind of a split coil sound. It's a little bit out of phase and gives it almost a 12 string character. The next tone I want to talk about is the bluesy tone. And there's an example of that with the first guitar solo that I did on the song. Let's give that a listen. So to get that tone on the guitar, again I used the neck position and that you know full-bodied humbucker sound, and that was going into the clean channel of the amp, but I used a boost and an overdrive pedal to give it a little bit of that input gain boost. The third fundamental tone I look for in an amp is a solid crunch tone. And a perfect example of that is the rhythm guitar part in this song that spans pretty much the entire length of the song. But let's listen to one of my favorite riffs from the song as an example. Okay, so to get that sound, I used the guitar's bridge pickup and the crunch channel on the amp. So the fourth fundamental tone I look for, of course, is a lead tone. And a perfect example of that is the main theme from the song. So let's listen to that in isolation. Okay, so to get that tone, I used the bridge pickup again, and I went through my boost and my overdrive pedal into the crunch channel of the amp. I sincerely hope you enjoyed that song, the storytelling and the details and the isolated tracks, and just my general thought process for chasing down tone. So if you'd like some more information about the amp that I played through, or this incredible Tiger Love Trident 7-string, Check out the detailed specs in the video description below, and you'll also find links to the website for Tiger Love Guitars and Varellen Amps. As always, I really, truly appreciate your support, and until next time, aloha.